Witcher a word, if you will. Look what the cat dragged in. You have no idea how delighted I am to work in tandem with you. True, I have no idea. Better times approach, Geralt, you shall see. I trust you're not bothered if I refer to you by name. Not at all. Wonderful, I feel we shall become great friends. That remains to be seen. Shake my hand, Geralt, to mark the beginning of our friendship. Uh, don't worry, I've no poison needle up my sleeve. I believe one can learn much about a man from his handshake. Learned anything? You have the handshake of a warrior. Strong, decisive, dominating. You're the conquering type. The kind women love. I was asking about the curse. Oh, of course. What would you like to know? Did you notice that not all the specters were aggressive? Hmm. Most would disappear when we neared them. I think the curse's power corrupts the ghosts of those who died in the battle, turning them into draugers. Draugers? Is that some professional name you witches have for specters? They're demons, Deathmold. Draugers are demons of war that arise on battlefields where the fighting was vicious and the slaughter particularly bloody. They are hatred and bloodlust in condensed form. The name matters little. Do you know how to rid us of these draugers? A silver sword's enough to send them to their rest. But as long as the curse remains active, new ones will appear. The soldier's ghosts are the key. If we could reverse the tide of the battle... Don't delay. Grab your sword and start reversing. I'll need some symbols of war that belonged to the soldiers who perished here. Artifacts symbolizing hatred, death, courage, and faith. They have to be magically active and linked to those who died. Without them, I won't be able to summon the ghosts. Well, I've no idea how to find them. Apart from which, I know little about war symbolism. I'll deal with the artifacts. I have another job for you. Have you dealt with curses before? I've cast a few in my time. One victim sprouted donkey's ears and a tail, another's house burned down. Nothing too serious. Shame. Have you removed curses, lifted spells? Never had the chance. But I mastered the theory involved. Best in my class at the Magic Academy. They don't teach you about curses like this one at Banard. Glevis's curse is a fourth level blood spell. It's also known as the Archmistress's curse. A misnomer, for they've been cast by generally crazed mages or priests, not necessarily women. You've done your homework. Explain this blood curse to me. An ordinary blood curse is a trivial thing. You let a little of your own blood. Best done at midnight, surrounded by lit candles. Sabrina had a whole pyre around her. Tell me about Glevisig's curse. Read about it for yourself. I have all the necessary literature. In fact, you only need the great encyclopedia of curses, spells and prophecies. And a, a volume compiled by Tessard of Rees and Margarita Loantil, Masters of Magic on Curses Selected Writings. I'm not going to waste my time reading. Tell me the important bits. Oh, no need to be ashamed, Geralt. In these times, few get the opportunity to learn the arts of reading and writing. Illiteracy is... I can read, mage. Times are wasting. Are you going to start helping me? The effects and phenomena generated by a fourth-level blood curse require an immense amount of the power. The eclipse, the death of a dynasty, the battle of spectres. No sorcerer, no living being can summon such levels of energy. It's quite simply impossible. But some clever mages discovered how to make possible the impossible. Since then, the world has lived in fear of your curses. Genius. What did you discover? A prophecy that initiates a blood curse is simply a spell that binds the power. It should be cast at a site possessing the appropriate accumulation characteristics. A battlefield is perfect. Blood-soaked ground, defined boundaries, a symbolic dimension. When the caster utters the words of the prophecy, the curse begins to accumulate the power. For the last three years, day after day, month after month, the initiating curse has been gathering the power, drawing it from the elements of fire, earth, air and water. The energy thus accumulated could move the stars. Enter the activator one of the prophesied events possessing its own symbolic dimension. It releases the accumulated energy for use by the curse proper. Ordinarily, the curse cannot utilize all the built-up power which must be released in some way, so one gets side effects, like solar eclipses.
Are you sure Sabrina cast the curse? Positively. Curses of this kind are cast rarely. There have only been six confirmed cases. How many confirmed cases of their being lifted? One. By a team of mages led by Archmistress Francesca Finderbear, whence came the curse's other appellation. In any case, Sabrina Glevesig was part of that team. Small world, and one that just got a little uglier. That's not all. The curse that Francesca and Sabrina dealt with was meant to end the lives of the last of the Tyson dynasty, the rulers of Kovir. It was cast by Scarlet Rodelega, a very talented but completely mad man. A prophecy and an activator were also involved. I see. Sabrina just stole her curse from this Rodelega. Precisely. Beside which the king himself and a company of armed men witnessed her casting it. Why is Henselt still breathing? He killed the priest. Why didn't he burst like a ripe tomato under a dwarf's heel? Perhaps Glevesig wishes Henselt to wait for imminent death. I don't think so. I know a few sorceresses. They're mean, true, but they also want results. Sabrina cast the curse while roasting at the stake. Not the most comfortable circumstances. I suspect she botched something. Are you suggesting Henselt may be safe? I'm suggesting he could be saved, provided we cut him off from the heart of the curse, the Battle of Spectres. It's the weakest link. How could we do that? I don't know yet, but I suspect I could summon Sabrina's ghost and force her to free Henselt. First, I need to learn the circumstances of her death. We've got our comet and murder. What about the coins? We have those as well. Not enough for you. No. Why do I get the feeling I've stumbled on some shameful secret? A state secret. If you don't tell me, your head of state may soon lose his head. There's a plot afoot within the military. Those involved share a symbol, a square coin adorned with a fish. Let's do this. I shall in no way hinder your investigation, and you will reveal to me anything you learn. Should I happen upon anything related to the curse? You'll let me know. So be it. If I'm not mistaken, you need blood to cast a blood curse. Precisely. Unachievable otherwise. Sabrina was bound to a wagon wheel. Where did she get enough blood? She put a spell on a soldier who gave her a coup de grace. It was easy. The minds of some soldiers are so uncomplicated. Sabrina needed one of them to strike her, shorten her suffering, but complete the curse. However, this is where she erred. That whore performed miracles, gathered the power, got the prophecy and activator right, but fell flat on her face on the simplest thing at the end. Don't get so excited. She chose a fool, a bungler. I heard he thrust five times with his spear, yet the witch's soul would not quit her corpse. There was no one guarding the pyre? It was one of the guards the sorceress chose for the task. His comrades were irate. He spoiled the show for them. The king was no longer anywhere near. In any case, blood flowed and the curse took root. Yes, but the harlot got her due. You're gonna help me, Deathmold. Of course, as the king ordered. Listen up. You'll do the paperwork. I get the feeling you like it. I'll need a number of protective rooms to summon Sabrina's ghost. They need to detain the sorceress's ghost and anything else that enters this world with it. Find something for me in your library. The runes need to be easy to produce. I haven't seen any artists around here. Apart from that, the Draugrs are likely to begin their forays in search of Henselt. When they leave the battlefield, they'll grow weaker. Your men should be able to handle them. Just equip them with silver-plated weapons. Henselt could also use something silver to defend himself. Over the entrance to his tent, hang a wreath of sunkfoil and fool's parsley. Inside, a fire fueled by juniper branches must burn at all times. Where will I get so much silver? Melt down your collection of pots for all I care. Just get it. Those aren't pots. They're silver vases of Nazire. Last of all, give Henselt an instructional talk. Explain that I'll need him. And what will you be doing? Drinking ale and fondling the camp women? There's that, yes. Though I'll also prepare to summon Sabrina's ghost and figure out what I need to send the fighting specters back to the afterlife. I'll drop by and give you more work as I learn about this curse. How did you divine that you might recover your memory by lifting the curse? I don't like people poking around in my life. Learning about others is my job. I must know the secrets of all who wish to approach the king. I've no problem admitting I like the work. My past has nothing to do with Henselt. You don't know that. Do you know why I have no friends, Witcher? Because sooner or later I learn all their secrets, which is followed by interrogations, torture, executions. 
Just leave my past alone. We need to talk. What? No, hello. Good morning. Pucker up and kiss my ass. Nothing. Ah, uh, hello. Good morning, White Wolf. Will you take some tea? It's a fortifying beverage. Some other time, maybe. You must know a lot about the Wild Hunt, as one of the reigning majesties among mages. Oh, I simply cannot concern myself with folk tales about corpses flying about on intensely emaciated steeds. The Wild Hunt's no myth. See you. The whole camp's gone berserk looking for the coin. Need some help, Monster Slayer? I want to talk, Dog of War. I've heard much about you, Witcher. Greetings. Greetings, Captain. I heard you gained fame during the wars with Nilfgaard. Our fees have doubled since the Battle of Brenna. As it turns out, it was worth risking our necks. Must be fatiguing fighting all the time. I took a little time off recently. Something along the lines of a honeymoon. But I like my craft. I'm not afraid they would admit it. I knew one of your kind once. A woman by the name of Rayla. Killed by an elf's treacherous arrow. She made a mistake. Let her emotions take control. This profession requires cold calculation. I wouldn't mind learning some details about Brenna from someone who played first fiddle there. Constable Natalis commanded the Nordlings. The Nilfgaardians mounted a vicious attack. And if not for us and the Dun Banner, the collected armies of the North probably would have shattered into bits. Luckily, we showed up at the right time withstood the assault and came out victorious. We earned every last copper we were paid. Fifty thousand Nilfgaardians shattered their teeth trying to bite at us. Menno Kohorn, their commander-in-chief, chose death over humiliation. Like in every battle, it was a question of timing, taking advantage of the foe's missteps, and a bit of luck. Were you here three years ago during the last battle for Vergen? Bradley's Blue Banner was. They were decimated by mages. The survivors enlisted with us. They weren't eager to talk about it, and we didn't press them. No lack of work for your kind. Mercenary might just be the surest profession these days. Sign of the times. Does Henselt pay his mercenaries well? I call it professional curiosity on my part. It's no secret a lump sum of 20,000 Novigrad crowns awaits. To be divvied up between those who survive. So the more of you die, the greater the take per head. Yes. Is Henselt paying you to wait? Curiosity, it's a new witcher. Not the best trait to have in wartime. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Deathmole's given us silver-plated weapons and protective amulets. On your advice, as I heard it, we're to observe the mist and, if need be, drive off the wraiths. Since you're already watching it, pay attention to the size of the cloud. I need to know if it's expanding. Well... How fast? It's almost imperceptible, but it's constant. A foot, perhaps two a day. What does that mean? 
means I have to hurry. How many mercenaries you got watching the fog? I've got them spread out in small groups around campfires. And how many we number? Well, that's my concern alone. Let's talk arm wrestling. Go on. Bartholomew Bargy sends his regards. Bart Bargy? I remember him. Strong for a peasant. For a peasant? They say you're the strongest arm around here. You wouldn't be talking to me otherwise. How's that? During the Battle of Brenna, I got into a knife fight with an elf guardian commander. That's to say, he had the knife and I had my bare hands. I grabbed him by the wrist, but the blade kept coming towards my throat. He was strong, but lacked stamina. When I felt him weaken, I twisted his arm around and slit his throat. I've worked on my hands, wrists, and arms since then. They all come in handy in my profession. Wanna wrestle me? To challenge Adam Pangret for the championship, you've got to beat the best contenders. You've defeated them all. So we can wrestle. Whenever you're ready. As you're a witcher and I'm a mercenary, Neither of us should wrestle for free. I'm ready. Lucky that Nilf Guardian at Brenna wasn't as strong as you. Or Adam Pangret would be a heap of white bones right now. Lucky for you we were only playing for coin. I venture to say there's only one man who stands a chance against you. Numa. Numa? What kind of name is that? He's a circus artist. The mighty Numa, they call him. Apparently he grips like a vice. The word has any cheats. How? Performance enhancing potions. The undetectable kind. I'll be sure to seek him out someday. You'd know best if he's using his muscles or alchemy. Perhaps the civil elves like hens on their eggs. Until it's mislifted. It won't just disappear. To sit it out like hens on their eggs until this mist lifts. It won't just disappear. Hear ye! Hear ye! Let it be known far and wide that the woman known as Saskia, a rebel and troublemaker, is not. No a talking human to. Cat. What do you want? Can I talk to. No! How might we get... Trust needs to be earned, mate. She is an amunculant. Obrim! Here, the boy! Obrim! Mandrake, Seaman, and Brimstone. Here, the boy! What else am I to do? This mist strives me crazy. Aldrin! The enemy of men and boys. Aldrin!
Oi, Witcher! Out in these wastelands, hunting monsters? Well, if you see two of my men, tell them I'll rip them both brand new assholes if they miss muster. What are they doing there? It's a common malady. A day don't go by that some dimwit don't sneak out of the camp to go to the gullies. They may never return. Anything's possible. But I for one hope they just overdid it with the liquor and fell asleep in some bush. We'll see if I come across anyone. Luck be with you. You're a good fellow. Ah, find them and you'll see Corporal Zivik knows how to be grateful. What do you want, Witcher? Did you participate in the battle? I did. And I fought. But I'd rather not go into it. The spirits of those who died in battle are now in combat on that field. They kill each other and change into nasty creatures called Draugrs. Adernians, Kedwenis, even your comrades. I want to help them, but I have to know what happened during the battle. Oh, the plague. Listen then. The fighting started in the afternoon. The Dun Banner was first to attack. We were ambushed, cut off from our main unit and devastated. Bloody scouts and Sabrina Glevesig, who was supposed to mine the battlefield. By then, the battle was in full swing. Wherever you see those damned furrows, people fought there. The Adernian lines faltered a few times, but we couldn't crush them because of Selkirk. Yes, we had the Visitor. They had Selkirk of Gullet, the invincible White Knight, Edern's finest swordsman. Wherever our forces gained the upper hand, he'd appear and reverse the fighting's course. Then, Vandergrift himself went into battle. He met Selkirk in the middle of the melee. It was a battle of titans. In the end, the Visitor hacked Selkirk and sliced the White Knight from his head to his balls. Then, death fell from the heavens. Lumps of burning soil flew through the air. The whole valley was on fire. Damned magic of a damned witch. I owe my life to Priest Crest, our chaplain. He led me out of the battle and went back for the others. He had a medallion that protected him against fire. He led everyone out, including the Adernians. But the flames got him in the end. You mentioned the priest. A really good man. He was with us the whole time, during the march, in the barracks, and in battle, among common soldiers. Freya gave him a medallion to protect him from fire. I don't know how true that is, but he led me and many others to safety. Who has this medallion? King Henselt. I saw it once. I don't know how he got hold of it, but he definitely had it. Were you at Brenna? Ah, yes. Cut down more black ones there than anywhere else. The Redanians were in disarray on the left when we joined the battle. Same with the Temerian regiments in the middle. We arrived just in time. Menno Cohorn commanded the Nilfgaardians. He was some leader. Even we feared him like fire. But somehow we prevailed. What happened to him afterwards? He refused to flee. Died like many others. Though, no one knows who did it, and no one ever found his corpse. Thanks, Civic. From what I can see, you and the men love your king. He's like a father to us, really. Comes around from time to time, chats it up, pats you on the mug. Remembers our names, too. Though you gots to earn that in battle. Been so distinguished three times already. Pride myself on it. I'm sure it's a great honor for a humble soldier like yourself. Last time it happened, we was on the march. Some peasant poisoned his well. A few of our lads died. Many others got sick. I paf... Pas... Pathicide that village. We hit them so hard, we even struck fear into our own boys. They went without a row for two days, and the king was very pleased. He came around, gave me a friendly punch in the gut, laughed, and said, You are one true son of a bitch. 
If you'd not been born among swine, you'd probably be king. That's how he is. Humane and all. He's really got a heart. I'd like to play dice. Wanna play right now? You lost. No worries. I'll win it back. What do you want, witch? I'd like to play dice. Wanna play? Here's your reward. That was good rolling. You deserve it. Who else plays dice around here? Madam Carol ought to play you. Interesting match that would be. Father, leave you be. Your life's at stake. Why, your mother would have my head if anything happens to you. No, this is about my honor. And play what mother does to you. I'll practice. I must prepare. Leave me be, Witcher. I must train. No time for idle chatter. Relics, artifacts, trinkets and talismans, hallowed and highly valuable. I'm interested in objects that belong to the soldiers who perished in the battle three years ago. Not any old things. They have to be magically active. I know how to check. That's not my speciality, Witcher. I deal in relics. Got anything interesting there? Ash from the stake where Sabrina burned? Nails that fastened the wheel of death, splinters from the wheel. I've also got some metal parts and some of the martyr's garments. Whatever your heart desires. Relic! Do 
you believe in the power of... You mean the relics? Others, but they'll believe in anything that gives them hope. Soldiers shit their pants and throw up. If kissing a rusty nail gives them courage, then in my book, it works. Where did you... Trying to compete with me? It's too good a business to share with others. Got anything interesting there? Ash from the... Whatever your heart... Are you moved by the Prophet Lebiodas' parables? Then spare an Oren for his humble followers. Having an Oren and not having an Oren makes two Orens. Cheapskate. Are you moved by the Prophet Lebiodas' parables? Then spare an Oren for his humble followers. Having an Orin and not a cheap. Are you moved then? Having an Orin and cheap. Are you moved then? Good luck. Thank you. Please accept this booklet, which will teach you how to live a worthy life. I've no bloody idea who you might be, but I hope you're a civilian. You can challenge better rollers now, but we'll play it. You can challenge. We're not the best around. to see a dwarf on human leash. Got a well thought out slur ready and waiting. Go on, surprise me. You're a little tense. Tense? <laughs> That's a good one. I, odd looking human, am a prime mercenary, a sapper. I'm not tense by definition. A sapper? Not that kind of sapper. I build field fortifications and war machines. I can fucking throw a boat bridge across a river in half a day. Digging ditches is relaxing, that's what I meant. Hmm. Got any spare parts from those war machines? The decommissioned ones, of course. I need some to make monster traps. Sure. Why wouldn't I? If I do. Think I've the right to stop you from taking a free stool? No right, but you might not want company while you drink. And why might you want to drink with me? I prefer to drink in good company. Doesn't ring true. You don't even know me. That's true. But I know a good man when I see him. So? Do what you will. Everyone does what they want. My son, for instance has decided to die. He's decided to duel Lieutenant Avid, known as the Butcher of Sidorus. All in all, that makes him a dead man. Lieutenant Avid? Who's that? A killer. Plenty of those in the army. No, killing enemies is not the same as slaughtering your own countrymen. The Butcher likes the latter, and he's good at it. The best. They're going to duel to the death? 
Are you that ignorant? We've been sitting here for weeks. Nothing is happening, and Hen said don't like that, so he's organized some diversions. You mean tournaments? Not like tournaments, more like murders. Mock battles without the mocking. The jewelers really leave the arena on their own two feet. When our unit learned that Six Company was putting forward the butcher of Sidorus, there were no volunteers, so we drew straws and it fell to Sven. He can't back out? He can, but he won't. I've pleaded, I've begged, but my son's a stubborn one. The pup's got honor. But what good's honor to a corpse? What if I helped you? What kind of question is that? Could I count on you in return? Save my son, and there wouldn't be a thing I wouldn't do to aid you. I take that as your vow. Where's Sven? Training in front of the canteen, near the mercenary's tent. You'll know him when you see him. Why did he turn out like a mum? Must my devilish blood cause so quickly for his veins? Are you Sven? Who's asking? Somebody who just might save your ass. Piss off! I wouldn't play the hero if I were you. You don't know me. I spoke to your father. Ha! <laughs> I'll wager he told you the sad story of Sven. Who needs to be rescued? I'm no wandering knight, and you're no princess in distress. I promised your father I'd help you. Then go back and ask his pardon for tricking him. Will you feel better when they kill you? I'll certainly feel worse if I cower out. I'm the last one to ask you to do that. What will you do? Summon the Butcher and send them out on an urgent mission to deflower the Virgin of Edern? No, we'll fight as a pair against Latand and his second. Your honor will remain untouched, like a twelve-year-old nun's petal. Why do you wish to help me? I'm not a fan of uneven fights. How much did he pay you? Your father could never afford my fee. Spoken to the butcher yet? Take care. Good scare of going against the same. The enemy have fed you. I'm looking for Letan Davit, the butcher of Sidorus. What do you seek? I want to try my luck. Strange. Most shit themselves at the sight of my sword. They say you're equal to a witcher in a fight. They lie. I'm better. We'll see. You'll need to wait. I've a fight lined up already. We could always duel in pairs. I look around and I see the cream of Kedweni Knights. Someone's bound to agree. I am Edwin Lysum, known also as the Petal. If Latond will have me, I'll gladly stand at his side. Why do they call you the Petal? I've no need for one who plows maidens simply for the pleasure of deflaring them. You offend me greatly, Latond. I owe the moniker to the fact that I place flower petals in the mouths of the foes I defeat. I'll be glad to see anything stuffed in the Witcher's mouth. So be it. Ah! But what if she's truly an anointed virgin? Ah, don't worry about it. The Witcher will take care of everything. Baldwin. Here, boy. Baldwin. Aunt? Has he agreed? Yes. Some horsemen, eh? Unique among them. Ready? Uh-huh. Let's go get him. Most gracious king, noble lords, men at arms, shortly in the arena you shall witness the famed Leton Davit, known also as the Butcher of Sidoris, at whose side shall stand the honorable Edwin the Petal Lisum. Opposing them are Sven of Somewhere, and Geralt of Rivia, Witcher! May the gods favor the better men! 
Begin! contest was a noble title. Our gracious and merciful ruler, King Henselt, shall generously bestow this upon the young Sven. Heralds will announce these subsequent duels. Long live King Henselt! Long live Kedwin! Thank you. You salvaged my honor. He salvaged that foolish head of yours. I'm a knight now. The king himself will do the honors. You were born in a pigsty where the labor came to your mother 18 springs ago. Nothing will change that. Witcher, I said you could demand what you will, and my word's no worse than the nobles. You demanded payment for helping me? This is between your father and me. Who do you pray for? I can't say. And neither can you, father. An old soldier's word is no handful of hay with which to wipe your arse. I'll have naught to do with this. <sighs> Go to Madame Carl's brothel and ask for whistling Wendy. The madam will take you to her tent and leave you alone. Wendy will ask what you wish. Tell her you want her smile to open the gates of paradise. Are we even? Yeah. And beware of Vincent Trott. He may be hiding with the conspirators. Dangerous man, that one. Deathmole's looking for him. And if he finds him, we may all end up tasting the executioner's axe. That scoundrel falls into the sorcerer's hands. He'll give us all up to save his own skin. I'll be careful. Trot wears a magic suit of armor. He could prove a difficult foe, even for you. Witcher. What? The king is impressed with your skills. He's called on me to organize a tournament. If this goes on, his entire army will be slaughtered before he moves against Edern. This time it'll be a tourney of knights. None of that slaughter for the riffraff to enjoy. The king will reward the winners handsomely. If you're interested, find me by the arena. Who do I spy if not the famed Geralt of Rivia? You seem to know me, but I have no idea who you are. And you're worse off for that. For I can make you even more famous. You write ballads or something? I've no notion of songs, but the king's vested me with the task of organizing knightly tourneys. A swordmaster like you must be eager to show off his skills.
Nightly tournaments are a pastime for real men. Does King Henselt have any interests besides fighting? We value knightly tradition in Kedwin. Only jewels in the arena let a knight stay in good form and hone his skills. All right, I'll take part in your tournament. The king will be pleased. Just remember, this will not be a fight to the death. I'll try not to forget. Duels take place from noon to dusk. You'll find me by the arena then. The whole camp's gone berserk looking for the coins. Grown lads with their arses in the air, scavenging around the tents like idiots. Love me. Where are these coins? I smell it to Mary. Look what the cat dragged in. The plotters. I know where they meet. I knew I could count on you. Is that enough for you then? One can tell a real man, not by how he begins, but by how he finishes. What else do you want from me? I shall give you four of my men who will be near at hand and provide backup if something goes awry. They'll stay out of sight until summoned. Bring me one of the plotters alive. I have many questions. I must know who's behind all this. Learn anything new? A mage on the other s- How do you- You shall know them- It could- No. See you. Spoken to the king yet? Indeed, he was delighted to hear he can be cut from the curse. Great, because I need the medallion of the priest known as Crest. I heard it's in Henselt's possession. <laughs> He'll give you nothing until you free him from the curse. Truthfully, I believe I understand him. You have a good chance of perishing when you confront the Draugrs. Give me a break, Deathmold. The two of you are just afraid I'll leave this entire mess in your hands. Ah, that is something I do not fear at all, for I know exactly why you're here. As for the king, you may curse him and scold him and call him a fool if you wish, though it's not something I would advise. See you. Knight of the Flaming Rose, here? Geralt of Rivia! 
Now I recognize you. Terrorist. Killer of Siegfried of Danel. Murderer of Jacques de Aldersburg. I've long waited for this chance. Defend yourself! Gone berserk looking for the coin. Grown lads with their arches in the air, scavenging round the tents like idiots. Where are these coins from? Oh, there wasn't officer. a single one when they were pitching camp. I smell a rat. Sorceress like you must know bundles about paranormal phenomena. Any mage's knowledge has little to do with superstitions. The wild hunts no superstition. Indeed, the phenomenon exists. I want to know everything about it, including what you know. You're out of luck. I've never concerned myself with it. I'm also not interested in whirlwinds or hailstorms. Let's talk, Arm. Go. You've defeated them all. Where are these coins from if there wasn't a single one when they were pitching camp? I smell a rat. Greetings, Master Witcher. Talking to what do you want? Can I? You're all right, but be quick. If the corporal sees you, he'll have your balls and ours. Bloody fat girl. What do you want? Information. You from Jorvis' unit? I'm proud of it. Jorvis will avenge me. Maybe. I'm responsible for you being captured. I don't understand. I warned Jorvit that the Kingslayer had betrayed him. Your leader's alive because of me. You lie! You're not one of us. Never claimed to be. I'm not interested in your fight, nor in that of the humans. I have my own goals. I'm hunting the Kingslayer and need information. Will you help me? I'd rather not reveal anything to the Dwan. Do you know Elder speech? The sermon and rendons hest ev de sala emes ev de mevnes let. Sea here. 
and Ted Verletho came and stared under their world. Ertedreye Ebduan, Seret en Ox Vatgelm Est. Then Arthur Neckwert, Visse Egen, Earl Egen, Ken Hatner. Then Dar Emen Dunv, Dagmamert. Ken Dene de Arme Hest. Then Neasel Vedesal in Esne Geert. Venea Senden Ert El. Ete ame, ne segen ir, ele sera. Me kian behent het fein esert, seret ne ura jasen het. Ert heb orks garthe seget en het rothen kem hest, te ern mothe diam. Rothein? Ne diables, rothein verte vel. The same as Ruthin, the rain, Henselt, Gerald, Vurte, Hen. Then the arm, Elistrea, Hen. Ne merse, Health. The gun, the penetres. And Hert, Epkianje, Esme, Gethwerth. Se, Eft, and Kien, a diable, Ep, Arskied. Can Yese, Thith, Preas. Mesem treachled. Ve kele elefene hiske. Niame herf. Este er verf. Ep kethen ken hest. Quintes ken. Then kean velt emer dor vat gern. Ve fel. Quen el vat gern hen linge ken. Ne meseft. Oxen en seret est el ken. Vel merth Gwynblad kenneth belk, Vedhen emeth Gwynblad. Seet e step gathis en treth winnis. Va fel! Ogren! Salutation in the world! What else am I to do? This mist strikes me Baldwin. free. Here, boy. Baldwin. Baldwin. I'm done with this course. Here, boy. Baldwin. Square coin. Baldwin. So. 